Will former UFC lightweight champion Charles Oliveira get it done against Armin Sir? You can see who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. Man, that Armin kid is a special athlete. He is an animal. But Charles Oliveira, he's going to come out there. He's going to make it a sprint from the beginning. He hides his kicks so well. He, he's so dangerous everywhere. That one's so tough, but I'm going to pick Charles. I know Charles is the underdog there, and uh, I'm going to pick Charles on that fight. That is such a good fight. That is such a good fight. Um, I'm going to go with Armin. Even though, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Armin in that one. That's just what I'm feeling. I, I feel like Armin is hot and super motivated and just on a tear right now. I'm gonna go with Charles. Uh, Oliver on that one. That's a tough fight. Armand's a beast. I uh, met him in, at the Tiger in 2020, 2020, 2021. And uh, funny enough, him and uh, Makachev were on the match wrestling each other, you know, while I was there. So I got to witness that and before the rise of both. So I think it's um it's that old game like where the wrestler can hold down the jujitsu practitioner on the mat, you know, and obviously Charles is very, very tricky on the mat. So it just all depends on which Charles shows up. Um but it's hard to bet against him. And so I think it'll be a size difference in this one as well. So it depends on the shape of whoever shows up. Whoever shows up in better shape wins that fight. I don't think it has anything to do with skill. I think they both have their moments. I think whoever's in better shape will win that fight. So I, I might have to go with uh, probably Saruki on that one. Armin Sazukin. You know what? I'm a big fan of Charles. I, lo I love the story. I love like, the he kind of had that Cinderella story. So Charles Oliver. Oh shit. I'm gonna go Charles. Charlie Olive. Oliveira. Charles Oliveira, also my brother in Christ. Charles. I like Armin. I think he, I mean, there's no easy fights at 155, but Armin seems to be a, kind of a step above even that, all the hot prospects there. And this is probably where he kind of starts taking over and getting his name in that list of, of top, top dudes at 155. So I'll take Armin.